to Alan's Day. I'm back at it this morning. Uh, I've got the uh, Hughescraft Ocean Pro on at the shop today. And we've got to make some motor supports on it. So I'll show you what we got going on here. So here's what we got is this motor support and now we have to mount this mount this onto the uh, back of the boat here. So it's got to go back down into here somewhere. Haven't figured that out yet as far as where it's looking on here but it's a pretty good idea it's going to go right here. Now what I uh, came up with just starting the design process here. Uh, this is what they want you to mount on the back there. This is a piece of uh, 14 or 16 gauge that's supposed to hold that. I don't think I don't think that's going to be near enough so here's what uh, I came up with I'm going to take and make some stainless steel brackets that small bolt there small bolt there come up over the top and have a uh, pin going through and that should be enough to support the bracket. We'll see once we get it in there if we have to add more to it, but that's a lot of motor to be bouncing down the uh, interstate for a thousand miles. So, uh, as we were discussing, we needed to come up with a system to secure these motors from destroying themselves going down the, uh, going down the interstate. Uh, this boat's leaving today. It's got about a 1,200 miles it's got to go. Um, and we just want to make sure that um, these motors are going to stay where we put them here. And a little disappointed in Hughescraft that they did not come up with some way to secure or hold these motors in place when they're going down the road. That's just way too much just the numbers and the math doesn't work out with you've got that much weight hanging off the back there bouncing going down the interstate at 70 miles an hour hitting potholes something bad's gonna happen eventually so we uh, want to solve that problem or at least make an honest attempt to come up with something that's gonna work and as we talked uh, Yesterday we showed you the uh, brackets that were on here that came with this retrofit kit that we just an aftermarket thought. It would have been nice if we would have had something, an option from the Hughescraft would have given us to say, hey, we've got this idea to work. So what we came up with, and it started out with a, started out with a sketch, and then that sketch, turned into just a preliminary rough drawing of what we are trying to do here. And we need to hold the end of the rod uh, to support this. Is this the absolute uh, perfect system? Probably not. Is it better than what uh, options we were given when we, when we got this boat? Uh, yeah. Uh, something like this it literally took uh, between me making the sketch making preliminary drawings going to the plasma table burning out these parts I was a couple hours into it to come up with something to sit on the back of the boat technically something like this it would have taken months for a uh, boat manufacturer to prototype figure it out come up with something um, we sort of bypassed that uh, only because we had to. So, 
Uh, that's what we've got. That bolts through the bottom. There's nothing bolted through the bottom. There's carriage bolts here. Um, all the load is going directly into the boat. Um, so that one was in the very center. And then this one we had to put an offset in it because that particular kicker <coughs> goes off to the side here. You can see where it angles off. So it's a lot more secure. We are still going to take jack straps, wrap around the shafts between both motors, and we got some uh, clevises that we're going to jack strap and run all the way through to take a little bit more of that wiggle out of there. Because that little wiggle that you see right now, once you get on the interstate, that's going to be a, a whole lot more. One other item that we took a look at on here. And there again, I'm not very happy with, is they had just a standard, uh, standard plug that's probably been around for uh, decades, if not longer. Um, and it's just a simple plug, puts in a hole for the, uh, and that tightens up and that holds it in there. Well, you'd think after that many years, somebody would come up with something better, which they probably have out there, but you think they would have offered that to us when we bought the boat, that, hey, there's something better than the plug. So at least what we came up with is we put a piece of cable on the end of it, which I know they already have those lanyards out there, but we have on the other end of that cable, through the back hatch there, you can literally go in there, grab a hold of that cable, and once that you pull on that cable, that'll pull that plug back into place. So if you see water coming in, you don't have to have the uh, safety issue of, you know what, I'm gonna have to lean over the edge of the boat, go find the plug, and try to stamp, stuff it in there. So. Uh, not happy with the setup that Hughescraft sent us for a bilge plug in there. And let's see, one other item that I've got some concerns about that we've got to get taken care of, or I have to get taken care of, is this back door here. Ah, uh, real nice door. And and I don't want to pick on the quality of Hughescraft. They're an excellent boat, excellent, 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 but there's a whole lot of things that uh, need to be thought out yet. So like I was saying with that, that bilge pump, or I'm not sorry, the, uh, the bilge plug, if you reach down in here, take a look at this, this is, a handle just made just a simple cable handle so this is going to be somebody's million dollar idea that they're going to start putting all boat manufacturers are going to do it but literally made up a bracket a little standoff a little handle yeah this definitely can be improved upon but literally if your plug is out and you see water coming in you can go down here and literally pull this cable and at least get the bilge plug put back into the hole. Um, is it tightened up yet? No. But at least it's in the hole and maybe the water pressure will hold it in there. Yeah, bottom line is you should be put, making sure and double checking that you've got everything in place before you launch the boat. But tell that to all the people that sunk their boats because of that uh, bilge plug either falling out or forgetting to get put in there. And one other item that I've got to work on is this back door, nice door. The only problem with this is you cannot see what's going down in the bottom if there's any extra water in there. So before I get on this boat and before it goes out with me, there is going to be a hole cut in here all the way down, a good size hole framed out in a piece of quarter inch 
polycarbonate is going to go in there and possibly a light down there so when you're walking by you can see what is happening down in the bottom there if I see some water in there I think I want to know about it before the boat starts sinking a little bit uh, so with that being said that's enough on motor supports and plugs other item that we just tweaked on in the shop or the guys put together was they got a couple of work lights put up on the back side here uh, those are all worked up uh, and they're getting it all set up rigged up safety equipment as they said boats and safety I'm paranoid about safety and boats go back to one of my previous videos you'll know why a little bit of story about that but that's all set up there the lights are in the um, markers well it looks like the truck is backing up right now to hook this thing up to take it out of here uh, they got all the lights top that are starting to be uh, marked up put together and more marks and on the dash here so these are all things that uh, we just finished up so uh, and more information on what does what um, so bottom line is like I said Hughescraft does an excellent job but there's just a whole lot more of the basic items that I wish they would have offered to us that we would have paid for um, or they would have done it themselves but thank you very much uh, for watching the process of what's happening with this boat uh, the next phase will possibly be uh, the guys actually putting it in the water in the next couple of days and uh, put this thing to work so thank well the boat is uh, heading south uh, just uh, one last minute touch we did here is put a jack strap around the motors to keep that extra extra wiggle out of there and that I'm not going to pick on Hughescraft about that I'm going to go back to Suzuki there's absolutely no way a boat should be going down the road without a little extra security with a with a jack strap on there so maybe the Suzuki guys will figure out a way to build that into their system here so that I don't have to figure it out for them so thank you for uh, watching what we're doing here and we will uh, catch you guys later um, we'll have a little video of the boat uh, on its journey there it's not going to be me that's going to be taking the videos uh, my son Justin he's the he's going to be the next guy that'll show you when it hits the water so talk to you guys later thank you for watching Alan's day life is about making choices some things are already perfect some things you may choose to upgrade this channel will show you both please like subscribe and share thanks again